Hello YouTube, it's good to be back. You might have noticed I wasn't turning out any new content for a while. Um, I had a bit of a, uh, an injury that uh, I had to work through, but uh, all is good and I'm back now. I just returned home from my first hunt of the summer and had the opportunity to use the American Arms LCS SK-19 for some high volume jackrabbit hunting out in West Texas. The LCS SK-19 is a bullpup platform loaded with unique technology. It's a regulated PCP that operates in either semi-auto or full auto and can empty the 19-shot integrated magazine in about three seconds in full auto. There is a power adjustment knob on the underside of the buttstock in addition to the regulator setting monitored by the second manometer. The 23-inch barrel is a Lothar Walther, dressed in a carbon fiber shroud and a suppressor. This gun is very quiet, especially considering it's putting out up to 55 foot-pound of energy. My adventure starts at my friend Trent Huckabee's ranch in West Texas, spread out over 30,000 acres of arid land. The property is full of game, including whitetail, muleys, javelina, predators, and small game environment. This trip I was after jackrabbits and predators. I took the road in and made my way to the lodge. I'd had the entry code and was going to be on my own for the first few days. Towards the end of the week, I'd meet up with my buddy Chacho and his dad for the weekend. <laughs> like this. Besides a couple of tanks, I brought my Nomad 2 compressor. I had a few rifles that filled to high pressure, and this is a convenient way to keep them fed. Next stop was the bench trend had set up a couple hundred yards down the road. I loaded up the 19-shot integrated magazine with JSB 25 grain round nose pellets. To load the mag, you flip up a lever on the left side of the gun and a loading port on the right. I find the access is good and loading easy. Online air storage is a 480cc carbon fiber tank and provides 75 shots per fill. And the tank is filled with the universal 1 8 inch NPT quick connect fitting. The SK-19 is fairly lightweight, weighing it at under 8 pounds, and it measures in at a compact 35 inch length overall. I shot several magazines in full auto and was impressed by the reliability and high rate of fire. Wasn't sure how I'd use this feature, but it sure was fun to shoot. But from a more pragmatic point of view, it was the semi-auto performance that got me excited with respect to hunting. The gun was very accurate and reliable, something I've not seen in other semi-auto air guns I've tried. I was shooting fast and in a howling wind, and magazine after magazine stacked inside the nine ring. After satisfying myself that the gun had arrived on site intact and on target, I headed out looking for jackrabbits. My approach was to drive down the ranch roads and glass the open areas looking for rabbits on the move, or ears scanning the area as the jacks bedded in their scrapes beneath the scrub. I found the first rabbit hiding behind a paddle cactus and lined up the shot offhand. 
a headshot anchored him to the spot. I jumped back in the SUV and worked my way deeper onto the property. I don't think Hertz is going to rent me another car after this. I saw two rabbits on the side of the road a couple hundred yards away. I parked and set off after them. I got into about 45 yards before they started getting nervous. This is where the semi-auto came into play. I hit the first one with a body shot and they both started towards the thick brush. I lined up on the second rabbit and shot over him. The second shot hit him broadside, the third missed in front, and the fourth hit him broadside. Both rabbits dove into the brush. I waited a couple minutes and followed in, and found both rabbits down. I used both body shots and head shots on this trip, and find them equally effective, though the rabbit may run a bit further before giving up the ghost with the body shot. I'm not going to give a running narrative, as it's pretty straightforward. Take a look at the rest of the hunt. I will mention a couple key items as they come up. For this type of hunting, you need to feel comfortable shooting offhand, off sticks, standing or sitting. The only thing you're not going to get are shots off the bench, so practice accordingly. Headshots often result in a lot of flopping around and can be very bloody. Oh, by the way, if you notice I'm walking funny, it's because of a pretty painful back problem I'm working through. I kicked up a few skunks along the way and dispatched them from as far as I could get. I tried for a brain shot as this can shut them down before they spray. Full disclosure, while I try not to, I do miss. I found the gun really improved my follow-up shots when this happened. So here are my thoughts on the LCS SK-19 as a field gun for small game. First and foremost, the rifle is accurate. On the bench I could keep the groups inside of the 9 ring all day long, and importantly, think I shoot the gun as well off sticks as I do off a rest. 
The rifle hits very hard, and in upcoming videos, I'll show the performance on larger quarry as well. It has a high shot count and is consistent shot to shot. The ergonomics and dimensions of the SK-19 make it a very shootable hunting gun. The fact that it is very quiet in view of its power, a short length overall, was a pleasant surprise. But of course the real draw for most shooters will be the semi-auto performance for hunting and the full auto for pure unadulterated fun. The LCS is an impressive bit of air gun engineering. The consistency and reliability are mind-blowing, and this might be one of the top hunting rifles out there today.